Fantastic, man. You still got your strength? Oh, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You got that big eight old neck. Yeah, you told me about the enjoy it. Shit. And no big thing when you're 90. Quincy Jones. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we bring you a heartfelt tribute to one of the greatest legends of our time, Quincy Jones. With immense sadness, we remember a man whose legacy will live on forever in music, television, film, and more. His impact on the entertainment industry, the lives he touched, and the talent he nurtured will never be forgotten. In today's video, we'll take a deep look into Quincy Jones's life, from his childhood, career highlights, and unforgettable collaborations to his family, personal life, achievements, and lasting influence. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more stories of iconic personalities who have shaped our world. Quincy Jones's Early Life Quincy Delight Jones Jr. was born on March 14, 1933, in Chicago, Illinois. He came from humble beginnings, but was filled with curiosity and musical talent from a young age. His mother, Sarah Francis, was a bank officer and apartment complex manager and his father, Quincy Delight Jones Sr., was a carpenter who later worked as a military carpenter. After his mother was institutionalized due to mental illness, Quincy and his brother Lloyd faced a difficult childhood marked by hardship and resilience. Despite these challenges, young Quincy found an escape and passion in music. The family relocated to Seattle, Washington. When Quincy was 10, he attended Garfield High School where his musical journey truly began. He learned to play the trumpet and quickly joined local jazz bands. Quincy's dedication to music was evident from an early age, and by high school, he had already begun composing and arranging music, setting the stage for a groundbreaking career. College and early career. Jones briefly attended Seattle University, but later transferred to Berklee College of Music in Boston to study jazz and composition. However, he left before completing his studies to tour as a trumpeter and arranger with bandleader Lionel Hampton. This move was the first step in a career that would span several genres and multiple decades. Professional career and rise to fame. Record producer, songwriter, and arranger. Quincy Jones's career as a producer and arranger took off in the 1950s. Working with jazz giants like Dizzy Gillespie, Sarah Vaughan, and Count Basie, he quickly gained recognition for his innovative arrangements. In 1959, he became the first African American to hold an executive position at a major record label, Mercury Records. His work was celebrated for breaking down barriers and bringing jazz into the mainstream. Breakthrough with Frank Sinatra One of Jones's most notable collaborations was with Frank Sinatra. In the 1960s, he arranged and produced several of Sinatra's albums, including the iconic It Might As Well Be Swing and Sinatra at the Sands. Sinatra affectionately called Jones Q, and the two developed a lifelong friendship. This partnership not only elevated Jones's career, but also demonstrated his versatility in arranging and producing across genres. The Michael Jackson era and mainstream success. In the late 1970s, Quincy Jones began working with Michael Jackson, a partnership that would lead to some of the best-selling albums of all time. Jones produced Off the Wall, 1979, Thriller, 1982, and Bad, 1987. Thriller remains the best-selling album worldwide and propelled Jones to the status of a legendary producer. The albums he produced for Jackson not only revolutionized pop music, but also set new standards for production quality and innovation. Film and television career Quincy Jones's career extended beyond music into film and television. 
He scored several major films, including The Pawnbroker, 1964, In the Heat of the Night, 1967, and The Color Purple, 1985. As one of the few African-American composers in Hollywood at the time, Jones faced challenges but pushed boundaries, creating scores that were memorable and unique. In television, he produced The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which introduced the world to Will Smith and became a cultural phenomenon. His work in both film and television showcased his ability to capture audiences across mediums, proving his versatility and vision. Achievements, awards, and honors. Quincy Jones's career has been decorated with numerous awards and honors. He has won 28 Grammy Awards out of 80 nominations, making him one of the most awarded individuals in Grammy history. He also received an Academy Award nomination for The Color Purple and won an Emmy for his work in television. In 1995, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he received a Kennedy Center honor in 2001. Beyond these accolades, he's been celebrated for his contributions to breaking down racial barriers in the entertainment industry. Personal Life and Family Quincy Jones's personal life was as vibrant as his career. Jones was married three times and has seven children with five different women. He was married to Jerry Caldwell from 1957 to 1966, and they had a daughter named Jolie. He had a brief affair with Carol Reynolds, and they had a daughter named Rachel. He was later married to Swedish actress Ola Anderson from 1967 to 1974, and they had a daughter named Martina and a son named Quincy, who also became a music producer. The day after his divorce from Anderson, Jones married American actress Peggy Lipton. They had two daughters, Kededa, who was born before they were married, and Rashida, both of whom became actresses. Jones and Lipton divorced in 1990. He later dated and lived with German actress Nastasia Kinski from 1991 to 1995, and they had a daughter named Kenya, who became a fashion model. In 1994, rapper Tupac Shakur criticized Jones for having relationships with white women, prompting Jones's daughter Rashida to pen a scathing open letter in response, which was published in the source. Jones's daughter Kid Ada developed a romantic relationship with Shakur and had been living with him for four months at the time of his death and were even engaged. Quincy has been open about his life experiences, including struggles with health. He survived two brain aneurysms in the 1970s and has been candid about his journey toward healing and resilience. His religious beliefs lean toward spirituality and personal growth rather than organized religion, and he often spoke about his dedication to finding purpose and peace. Jones died at his home in Bel Air, Los Angeles on November 3, 2024, at the age of 91. Lifestyle and Net Worth Throughout his life, Quincy Jones enjoyed a lifestyle filled with the luxuries his success afforded. With an estimated net worth of over $500 million at his peak, Jones lived in several beautiful homes, notably in Los Angeles. His collection of cars included classic and luxury models, reflecting his appreciation for fine things. Despite his success, Quincy maintained a deep connection to his roots, supporting charities and advocating for causes close to his heart. Legacy and Influence Quincy Jones's legacy is profound. He reshaped American music, broke down racial barriers, and paved the way for future generations of African-American artists and producers. His work with Michael Jackson, Frank Sinatra, and countless others remains influential, inspiring musicians, composers, and producers worldwide. He's often remembered as a pioneer who bridged jazz, pop, R&B, and classical music through his life and work. Jones demonstrated that music is a universal language capable of bridging divides and creating unity. His impact on the industry and his role in shaping the careers of future icons will be celebrated for generations to come. May your soul rest in peace, Quincy. You will be missed by many generations and your legacy will be still remembered wherever you re. As we remember Quincy Jones, we celebrate not just a man, 
but an icon who changed the face of music and entertainment. His story reminds us of the power of passion, resilience, and vision. Let us know in the comments your favorite work of Quincy Jones, and let's keep his legacy alive through our shared love of music. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Quincy's legacy will live on, and we're honored to have shared his journey with you today.